Welcome to Love and Then What. I'm Cold Stone Steve Austin. I eat ice cream and drink beers. <laughs> and that is... What do you want to go about, Jermaine? Uh, Jermaine Ferguson, the freaking monkey. All right? I, I don't I hate this costume as it is, so... <laughs> I can't see And we are joined in our... Sorry, I got a lot of beer on me. That was still reserved, by the way. That was tough to drink. Sean and Christina, right? Crystal. Crystal, sorry. I was close. How you guys doing today? Good, how are you? Awesome. Good. So, you are Wendy, of course. Of course. It's Wednesday. Oh, Wednesday. Wednesday Adam. Adam. Wednesday Adams. I was so close. <laughs> hey, can I get another beer? Because I'm like, I need beer to wash down this humble pie I'm eating. Oh, man. So, what did you guys do for Halloween? I had a Halloween show um, Friday, and we did uh, a little family event at the house because we don't, you know, we didn't want to go out with the kids and shit, so... So, how long have you guys been uh, dating? It'll be eight years in uh, January first. January first. Eight years Ooh. is a long yeah. time. Ooh. Yeah. How long have you known Tremaine? I've known Tremaine for what, fifteen years? Yes. Okay, we're talking about wow, something like that. How old are you guys? Thirty. I am thirty-eight. Thirty. Thirty-three. Thirty-three. How did you two meet? Yeah, that's what I, I wanted to meet because I, I never. I was I never at a matter. bar. You were in a bar? Yeah, it was uh, New Year's night. And uh, I was sitting there lonely in my shit, you know. She put her uh, coat on my chair. She right. said, uh, can I put this here? Yeah, go ahead. So she put it there. We started talking. And uh, I got my nose pierced. And she had her nose pierced. And I was like, no, you don't. She's like, yeah, I do. So I picked her nose for the first time. <laughs> in, the middle of, in the middle of the bar, just goes up my nose, picks my nose right down. <laughs> so that was, your first, that was your first literal move on somebody. Yeah. And was your move to put your coat on his seat, or you didn't even care about him? I was just trying to put my chair. I literally just walked in. And I'm like, go ask Shannon's brother if you could put you could put his your uh, coat on his chair. So he didn't. We didn't know where else to put him. So, yep. And that and was at that. Twelve o'clock. Uh, we kissed and been together ever since. Wow. Nobody ever meets on New Year's. That's pretty cool, though. Yeah. <laughs> Not only on that, we had our baby on New Year's. Whoa, that's cool. How far that apart is cool. from the coat on the chair to the baby was it? Quite a while. We've been together eight years. Our daughter will be three. Oh, okay. How many kids do you have? Three. Three. Is that it? Yeah. Are you guys done there? We're done. Uh, I got <laughs> snipped. We're done. Oh, okay. <laughs> that was, there will be no accidents. <laughs> I got a question on that. So when you get snipped, what's the recovery like with that? Easy. Easy? Easy peasy, man. Yeah. Three days, it was, uh, you know, quite tender. About a week or two after that, you know, just no hard movements. How long until you can have sex again? Whenever you're comfortable. No. Does it hurt? After like the first like your first load, what was it like? <laughs> Absolutely normal. A normal oh, load? Nothing okay. looks nothing looks different. Nothing no blood? normal. Nothing. No blood. No. I I mean I bleed when I come no, I'm kidding. No. <laughs> <laughs> She's going to turn all the lights off. Yeah. <laughs> That's my girlfriend, by the way, Ashley. She she walked in here with me covered in beer and <laughs> she still dates me for some reason. I don't know why. So you guys have been together eight years, you have three kids. Yeah. You guys have your own place and everything, like yeah, Big we, house. we actually just bought a house uh, three months ago. White picket fence kind of thing? It actually does have yeah. white picket fence. <laughs> <laughs> Who knew the devil would be so traditional? Yeah. <laughs> Got a little gazebo yeah. in the backyard. A gaz- I, I want to get a gazebo. I want to get a fence first. But in, you guys live in where? Around? In Brookhaven. Brookhaven. Brookhaven and Ridley. It's probably similar to Brookhaven. It's really hard to get a fence anywhere. If you're a corner property. We yeah, are a corner are. property. You guys have Damn, a fence? Yeah, he just Did you get the fence up. yourself? Only in the backyard. No, it, it was there. It's all the, it goes all the way around uh, the back. Oh, man, I want, it so, I want a fence so bad because I want to get I wanted to get a gazebo or something like that because I have like a little fire pit that I built myself, but there's not enough like – I have a puppy, so I want him to be able to run around, but it I just was, don't have uh, It was a work in progress. We didn't just meet and buy the house. Yeah, it, 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 it never was, it was like that. Uh, <laughs> having a good partner in life is the huge – huge thing you know what i mean like we support each other she helps me out i help her out and uh we we did that financially with our careers i pushed her to do better she pushed me to do better we we ended up moving up the ladder in our jobs right started out in, a, in my my mom's house like in a little bedroom upstairs and yeah it was horrible dude right <laughs> then we you know got lucky with her mom she let us rent her place for a while and then uh we worked our way up to buy a house that's awesome. I'm, I mean, I have a house, and my girlfriend moved, is moving in with me, actually, what's today? Today's the first day she's officially moved in. She's lived there, basically, since we met, but... Hold on. <laughs> when, when did she have her toothbrush there, is the question. Oh, like, right. Hey, how long until you had a toothbrush? You bought me one, like, a weekend, 
So she lived there right after that. As soon yeah, as pretty, you put your toothbrush there, did they moved in? That's yeah, right. yeah, yeah. Did you have a drawer? That, that's it. They she got, has a whole thing, like a whole dresser <laughs> <restaurant. laughs> now. She's been moved in, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, babe. Uh, trick or treat? I got, I got some tricks and treats. Oh, baby, by the way, can you check to see if the camera's recording? Because you know I'm crazy and I'm weird. And Please, I love you. Yes. Yay. I always check that because I don't trust myself or anybody else with the recording. Because I just, I mean, I just cover myself here. Trick or treat. Trick or treat. <laughs> All right. That was funny. <laughs> <laughs> Take a trick. Did I take one? Ooh, give me mine. Trick or treat. Pick a liquor. Uh, I don't do liquor, but I'll totally do this Twix. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. He's obviously driving, so you can pick some liquor. Yesterday, I celebrated five years clean. Oh. Yeah. What? Yeah. All right, I'll take shots for everyone. <laughs> Nobody likes me when I get drunk, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> for the devil, you're very tame. White pick offense. Yeah. <laughs> well, happy Halloween. It happened on a Wednesday. No. <laughs> I got Captain. Oh, I got you. Um, you gonna drink it up? Nose. <laughs> <laughs> I knew he was gonna want the Jose. I had a bunch of different kinds, and I was like, Tremaine loves Jose. So Jose is awesome. Why well, don't you drink? Uh, I'm I'm a social drinker. Like it, once in a great while, kind of. There's thing. a guy here covered in beer over here, socially interacting with you. That seems like a social. <laughs> <interaction. laughs> Taking in a margarita kind of deal. I don't know. I don't even know where my trick or treats went. Right over here in the corner. Oh, it's in the corner. You got some Kahlua. I'm okay. Okay. I promise. Thank you. Though. Okay. So you guys have been dating eight years, you said? It'll be yeah. eight years, New Year's. And you've been sober for five years. Yep. Nice. You know where I'm going with this. What happened? It was a fucking nightmare, yeah. Was, it, was, <laughs> he, was he the worst? Like, was it, well, the reason he got sober was it because... Why? <laughs> he had to. Why? Like, there has to be a holy shit moment. There's an epiphany. Everyone, every alcoholic has, or every person with a drinking problem. Me covered in beer might be that. I don't know. No, but no, <laughs> what was your like? What was your moment? Did it involve her, or was it just like you woke up? No, it was my life, man. I, I was driving the chain train straight to shit town. And, yeah, and, and it was no good. So I needed to change. And she kind of gave me the ultimatum, like, hey, man, change her. You can roll somewhere else. But what happened? There has to be a night. What's the worst night that you've seen when he was drinking? It, uh, Do you it, mind talking to my friend? Sorry, I can't oh, hear you. Sorry. Sorry. Um, it wasn't drinking. It was other things. So. Yeah, I was addicted to heroin. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. That's it, something different. Yeah. <laughs> it was bad. It was really bad. Yeah. Um, it was hard. It's hard because he still was a good dad. Yeah. He still took care Always of kids. Always been a good dad yeah. since the day one. I remember yeah, when yeah, Sean, Louis, Sean he, and everything. Man, like. He would get sick and like he, uh, we'd go out for bike rides still with the kids. Like right. he didn't, sw it didn't sway. We our bills were still paid, kind of deal. But like when he started losing his jobs and uh, yeah, that's when I I couldn't do it myself. Yeah, you couldn't support a whole family. Did you guys have kids? At, we you had said the two older ones. Two so older I, ones. I had my two older ones with my late wife. Okay, and um, she passed away. And when I met Crystal, she took the kids on like they were her own. And she was like, I want a kid. And I was like, well, my son and my daughter are five years apart. Mm -hmm. We're already coming up on five years in relationship. You need to, you need to get pregnant like now. <laughs> if not, we ain't doing this. <laughs> Needless to say, she got pregnant. And then, uh, you know, things went the way they went. That's what's up. Now, how old were you when you got pregnant? I was uh, 29. Uh, my girlfriend's 33, so she's like nervous about getting pregnant later in life, but... I keep telling her it's not a big deal. I, I looked at it. We're as, not trying right now, but you know. I looked at it as look. Um, <laughs> we practice a lot. When, that's the best part. <laughs> when my kid turns twenty, am I going to be old enough to kick his ass? Because if he's anything like me, he's going to be fucked up. So I'm, I'm going to have to be able to restrain his ass. And, and if, if I'm fucking sixty, I can't do that. <laughs> you know? that was, yeah, my plan. I was married once before. She didn't die, but I hope she dies. Anyway, <laughs> so we were planning on having a kid, and then she just she fucking you know. Fuck the bed or whatever you want to call it. And, um, yeah, so I was, like, thinking. I was, like, I want to have a kid before I'm 30. That was, like, my goal. I'm 30 now. So, I mean, push back. But I was really, really fortunate to meet Ashley, and it's been amazing ever since. She she almost spent beer because she's <laughs> laughing at me. How dare you? You don't think I'm a good, a good person? I'm amazing, she said. How big's my penis? <laughs> she gave me the angry inch. Nine and a half. <laughs> Centimeters. <laughs> hey, around. 
that dude's still so skinny. <laughs> Yo, what did the guy at work say? He said, uh, I might not be able to touch the bottom of a tuna can, but I could touch the rim. <laughs> oh, imagine like a three inch hard dick that's that wide around. <laughs> All the time with this guy. <laughs> <laughs> so what is your, like, what's your life now? You don't drink, you don't do any drugs. What's, like, your life in comparison to what it was? Like, Fucking amazing. When you wake up now, so people that are, like, maybe thinking about getting sober, they're like, I don't know, it's probably going to suck, I'm going to throw up or do whatever, you know, those, going through those withdrawals. What was it like, like, your mornings after, what did, I'm sorry, you said, what drug were you addicted to? Heroin. Heroin. Your heroin and alcohol mornings in comparison to your daddy uh, husband mornings. What's like Wake, waking up having to get your fix? Okay, is a fucking nightmare. I mean, are you waking up you like wake disheveled? Up, I mean, like cold sweat, fucking yeah. um, stomach ache, shitting, nauseous, diarrhea, headaches, like name it. Yeah, and uh, it, it's it's the worst, man. It's the worst feeling ever. I wouldn't wish that shit upon anybody. So, um, now. Mm-hmm. It's the best thing ever, the absolute best thing ever. I wake up in the morning, dude, and I'm up early. And even on my days off, I'm up at like seven o'clock. It sucks, but, <laughs> but it, is, it is what it is, dude. Yeah. I'm, yeah, I'm used to it. I wake up, dude. I think about coffee. Did my daughter, you know, use the potty because we're potty training now? You know yeah. what I mean? Uh-huh. Like I, I have goal oriented like priorities now. Yeah. Like I'm all about my kids, and I'm all about my my woman and my job. And uh, I got a lot of projects going on. Yeah. I've been drumming for a while, so we got a band, and uh, we've been playing shows and trying to, you know, get the ball rolling on the new uh, recording. We're going to be starting soon to make our second CD. Um, It's fun. I keep myself occupied. That's what's up. Now, I think you can always tell a lot how shitty your life is or how shitty you were the night before or your life, like your life at that moment, by your shits. Have your shit (laughs) changed? (laughs) Because when I wake up from a long night and drink, my shit's just watery. Okay, so... (laughs) Opiates, Can you move right? a little closer? Sorry, it's a little. When, when you're on opiates, um, <laughs> you you uh, you don't shit. You, <laughs> oh, you, you don't shit at all. Uh-huh. Yeah, like you, you could go a week without shit, and, <laughs> and it's fucking horrible because it's like shit in a brick. Yeah, <laughs> quite literally. And uh, now I shit on the regular every fucking day. Always hard, solid poop. And it's it's fuck. No, no, it's nice regular poop. It's left of my fucking arm, dude. It's amazing. You feel great afterwards. It's like one wipe, and it's like, bam, baby, I'm fucking what? Done. I go through yeah, so man. much toilet paper. He no. says that, but he showers afterwards. No, sometimes. But that's the, best, that's, the, that's the it best time to do it, depends on what I eat, though. Yes. If I eat something fucked up, then my stomach's fucked, and then, then that's how you know what you're eating. Well, you should also be a bubble child. You, you, He's allergic to everything. I know. I can't help and that. And he eats though. it all anyway. Yeah. yeah. Tomatoes, <laughs> onions. He's allergic to I love lactose tacos. intolerant. Fucking tacos are amazing. Yeah, they're delicious. Pizza, I don't care. all the time. Pizza, fucking amazing. Ice yeah. cream, tears them up. Yep. Lactose tolerant. Can't have it. I would totally fuck that thing up. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even care. <laughs> yep. My plan was to eat a lot of this, but I have a plastic spoon, and it's just not giving way right now, but soon. Yeah. Like, if I'm going to be cold stone, I have to eat a lot of ice cream. I'm not, just... I'm, I'm, not, I'm not turning down a milkshake, bro, like ever. <laughs> I, I'll suffer for it. It is what it is. Yes. You suffer for what you love, man. Yeah. And, yes. and it is what it is. How many wipes are you doing, Tremaine, on an average poop? Um, I don't poop often. Um, but when I do poop, um, it all depends what type of day I had after the before. Meaning, uh, an average like, poop. Like, I mean, you mean an average poop? Like you're talking about like a, a Friday average poop? <laughs> yeah, whatever. Just a, t- <laughs> a Tuesday poop. You got over work. Tuesday is different than a Friday is what I'm trying. All to right, well, go to Tuesday poop. Uh, I'll go to Tuesday poop. Um, I would say a Tuesday poop would be <laughs> usually around like two times a day. Um, a good length too, but it will only be like one thing, like one nice length. But I'm saying one wipe and you're done. Yeah. Well, what? I just told you one big hole. I thought that was my girl does one wipe and. I mean, you you I do you, you wipe know. more than once, but you don't have to. It's like a yeah, you get exactly. you double check. You know what exactly. I mean? It's like a make we sure. We also have like, kids, okay, yeah, so cool. we keep baby wipes in the bathroom. I, I do baby wipes too. Let him play you because he does a baby wipe. Baby wipes are fucking. Amazing. I would love to use greatest thing wipes. ever made. You got that fucking right. right. I oh, I love. In my truck, I, I won't go anywhere without it. Oh fuck yeah, dude! Like say I'm going to travel somewhere. There's one thing I need: baby wipes. Like I, I don't. <laughs> when I'm, well, they're like the flushable wipes, so I need that. I don't want to dry. Like I got a lot of hair on my ass, so I think that's what. 
Lens and salt. That's why I, 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 I looked at you and I was like, this guy's got to be a lot of wipes. And you said, what, what wipe? I was like, what the fuck's happening? No, uh, I, could, I could fucking brain dead shit and put some bug guys in the bag. Some play. ghost poops, man. Ghost poops. That's what they call them, ghost poops. Ghost poops. Like, you didn't even poop. That's a, health, that's a healthy poop, man. He do, he's done his research, so he's watched lots of it's videos on it. Poop. And that's considered the healthy poop. So I brought up a good subject for you. You really were excited to talk about poop. I always talk about poop. <laughs> farts, are, farts are fucking hilarious no matter what. Oh, yeah. I don't care what anybody says. <laughs> Your eye holes are so funny right now, bro. They're so fucked up. I know, man. <laughs> like, it kind of looks like a butthole. I'm hot as shit as is right now. Just take your head, take the head off, man. You look ridiculous. Are right, you gonna sell the bit? Uh, I to. Do the ooh, can you do like a monkey sound? No, no. You're being racist now. <laughs> I wasn't. <laughs> Oh, okay. you should never. Why would you even say it? Your dress is a monkey. Obviously, but you don't. I can do a you, so cold, what? you knew that what? was something bad to say. Do not tell me you didn't know. What? You thought that I automatically. Well, I, I thought when you were dressed up, and I was like, that's kind of on the nose. <laughs> 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 but I didn't want to bring it up. Oh, man. Um, so, you guys been together. How well do you think you guys know each other? Ooh. I know him better than he knows me. Ooh. What, what, like, I was like, all right. Is there a fucking a test? <laughs> <laughs> How well do you think you know I will plead the fucking fifth right now. I mean, him to go I'd to like to think I know her well, but I won't know. I'm very forgetful. So who do you think, so who do you think knows more? Her? I think she knows me very well. So we're about to play a game called How Well Do You Know Your <laughs> S.O.? Motherfucker, I knew <laughs> So you're about to play a game. We're going to find out who knows who more. All right. So all right. the name of the game is How Well Do You Know Your S.O.? We've had other couples in here. We've had best friend pairs in here. And there's a leaderboard. Right now, the top score is 140. So what's going to happen is there's going to be three rounds. The first round is five points each question. If one of you get the answer right per round, that's five points. You both get it right, that's 10 points. Second round, 10 points a question. Possible 20 points each question. Third round, 20. So I'm just going to ask you a question. And what you're going to write down is what you think your significant other's answer will be. Oh, what I think her answer is What you be. think her answer? Well, depending on each question. Yes. <laughs> depending on the question, I'll ask you. And okay. Then, so should we, like, number them? like, or is I'm just going to do like one that you can erase. Race, yeah. Okay. So the name of the game is How Well Do You Know Your S.O.? So what is your significant other's favorite color? So Ooh. write down what you think your significant other's favorite color is. Okay. What's that say? No, 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 no. no, no, no. Keep it there. I keep got it there, you. I got you. There. I see it. I see it. I see it. I don't even. I know what it says, but come on, oh, man. Yeah. I, I, I you're, know, you're good. Just leave it up. Leave I know it up. what it says. Leave I know what it says. Yeah, keep, keep it up. Yeah, keep it up. Okay, keep All it right. Up. <laughs> I'm going to call you by your costume names just because it's easy. <laughs> Wednesday. What is your significant other's? Oh, wait, no, no. What no. is your favorite color? Turquoise. That's Bingo. correct. There we go. The devil. What is your significant other's favorite color? Or no, no, I'm sorry. What is your favorite color? My favorite color. Yes. Well, black isn't the color, so I'd say red. No, oh. you are right. You are right in black because he said. Okay, I'll, he I'll knew it. You could tell black what's color, his color. It, I don't say it's a color because it's not but, considered a color. Okay, but yes, so, but that is the color. Right, she put black. I called that shit. That's, that's right. That's correct. That's, right, correct. that's correct. That's correct. That's now, correct. Now, what is your significant other's favorite food? Food? Favorite food. If they were to eat one thing for the rest of their life, what would it be? Oh. Okay, <laughs> Wednesday. What is your favorite food? Pretty much anything potatoes. Mm. Be more specific. Be specific. Be as specific as possible. French fries? No. I don't know what that is. What is what is that? Potato tacos. Potato tacos. Mm. That's a thing? Yeah, my dad makes them. They're amazing. Uh, the devil. Uh, okay. <laughs> the devil. I got potatoes, though. I got, I got uh, it. <laughs> the devil. What is your favorite food? Pizza. That's correct. <laughs> yes. So we got 15 points right now. Okay, what is your fi uh, significant other's favorite musician? It can be band too. Ooh, musician? Favorite musician. This has got to be a big one for you. Oh, this is going to be hard for her. Um. <laughs> That's her favorite musician? It's the band. Okay. The band. Oh, no, no, uh, hints. no hints. No hints. You're good? You're good there? Okay. Okay, the devil. What is your favorite band? Devil Driver. That's a singer from Devil Driver, Dez. Dez? Dez? Okay. Dez, okay. Dez, okay. Dez, okay. Dez, okay. Dez, okay. 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 All right. I don't know a musician's name, so I said the band. Okay. Wednesday. Dope. That's correct. I never heard go. of these. I never heard of you. <laughs> so 
So what are we at? 20 right now? Or 25? 25. Okay, now we're moving into round two. So this is the question. You guys ready? Mm -hmm. What year did you meet your significant other? No talking. <laughs> no, no saying anything out loud. You guys can give each other hints without. He said, oh, uh, fuck me. It's the year our daughter was born. So. Ah, you're a you oh. hits. He doesn't can you put that, that in front of you? I don't Just so the camera can see. Sorry. <laughs> Hold on. What was the year what? No, 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 What year did you meet your significant other? What year was it that she put that jacket on your chair? Um, That's. Oh, okay. Um. You got it. Come on, devil. <laughs> okay. Maybe. All right. Uh, Wednesday. When did you meet the devil? 2012. You guys both oh, got it right. Okay. <laughs> yeah. I had to count on my fucking fingers and shit. <laughs> <laughs> you, you never said anything about math, bro. Okay. <laughs> okay. What is your significant other mother's maiden name? Oh, that's good. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> That's good. She knows right away. Mm hmm Okay. Can you show the camera? I can't see your answer, please. Wednesday. What is the devil's mother's maiden name? Terry. Oh, she said that backwards. Yep. Yeah. No, I said it backwards, but she, she got it right. Yep. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> now, Wednesday. What is your same for the mother's maiden name? No, mother's? what is your... What's mother's? Hers. Yes. What is her mother's maiden name? All right. What is your mother's maiden name? Yes, David. Ask... Mine's Pierce. Yes, there we correct. go. I'm about to say you asking her only now. <laughs> I'm always drinking during these games. Yes, me, my mother-in-law's maiden name. I always, whenever I'm doing this, I'm always drinking, so I always fuck it up. No, honestly, it's only that part you mess up every time. Yeah, that one. That, that one in the color. That little one. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Now, do you guys have a favorite grandmother? Don't say anything about. All right. How about this? If you get either of your grandmothers, so what is your significant other's grandmother's first name? It could be either of them. Her mother or father's oh, mother's Jesus name. Christ. Um, I hope it's not Jesus. I mean, if it is. No. <laughs> not, all right. I was about to say something, but I miss. I miss <laughs> something. I know we do. The devil. What is your grandmother's first name? Sadie. Her what? name is Pork. Okay. Porky. Oh, she got two. She Porky. got two parts of it. Porky's her nickname. Yeah. <laughs> Wednesday. What is your grandmother's first name? Sue. Damn! <laughs> Y'all are good. <laughs> you, uh, all right. This is round three. Questions going to change up a little bit. It's going to be a little different. What is your, your significant other's favorite sex position? <laughs> <laughs> what is the devil's favorite sex position? What is Wednesday's favorite sex position? Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> I'm gonna say. Don't say nothing. Can't say anything, but I didn't it. say it, but I wrote it. Oh, good. <laughs> okay, good. don't say anything. Just you gotta guess one. <laughs> <laughs> what is his favorite sex position? Hold on. Is she guessing for herself or me? For you. For you. Are you confused? Yeah. Am I saying what I think um, hers is? Yes. You are saying what you think Don't hers is. Don't it got to be specific, specific? Yes, it has to be specific. Or, or does she say what mine is? She's saying, she's she's saying what she yours thinks yours is. Okay. And I'm, then I'm going to ask you what your this favorite is. what I think hers is. Yes. yes. Okay. Come on. Just write. You have a shitload of physicians in this world. I don't know. I'm okay. So, okay. devil, what is your favorite sex position? Mine? Yes. I'd say... Doggy. Woo! <laughs> Wednesday, what is your favorite sex position? Same. Woo! <laughs> every girl is doggy. And right. you guys started it. You guys started the exact yeah. same way, too. You guys <laughs> both saw doggy the same way. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Now, within two numbers, how many people has your significant other had sex with? Woo! Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Do we have to write this? Yes, I don't, this I don't is. Want to this is this is the game. Yeah, um. How many people do you think he's? You can think about what he thinks. He, what he's told you, he's gonna write. I mean, we you, don't talk about these things. We, we just guess a number. Yeah, just guessing. He has an answer for you. 
<laughs> Why you gotta say it like that? <laughs> you gonna make her embarrassed? Don't yes. be embarrassed. Very. Okay. Okay. <sighs> the devil. How many people have you had sex with? Fifteen. Okay. <laughs> Wednesday. How many people have you had sex with? Uh, sixteen. Hey, well, she got okay. right. Bam. Got <laughs> oh, that no, one. you got it right. You yes. got it right. What was her answer? Her answer was twenty-one. 21. 21. It was close. Listen, I don't know. We don't talk about these things. <laughs> okay. If your significant other had to have sex with one person of the same sex, who would it be? If Wait, if she had to have sex with some, a woman, and he, who would it be? If he, wanna, if he had to have sex, sex with a guy, man, who would, oh, it be? who would it be? God. What is her score right now, Tremaine? Uh, I, I didn't add it up yet. Okay. I just got it all. This is too difficult. I don't know. Of the same sex? Of the same sex. I mean, if you were a girl, who would you want to have sex with? If you, if you, you know what I mean? Vaginas are scary. I don't, I don't think about those <laughs> things. So. And we've had that discussion. So you guys already talked about this. No, we talked about how I would never go that way because just to me, it's scary. They got yeah. 145. You guys are already, you guys have already beat every other couple. No. <laughs> really? Let's, <laughs> let's seal the deal with some dude sex, the devil. Dude sex? <laughs> fuck, I, I'd fuck anybody that looks good. I mean, uh, what do you think about me? <laughs> I dig a guy with a bald head. <laughs> okay, I like, I like that answer. Um, fuck, I don't even know what you I can't. I have a question for it, but I Me too. I did too, but I'll, I'll wait. I'll give it to it. Yeah, I'll wait. I, I don't know how to spell his name. Really. I know. I, 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 it's a him. Dad. It's a him. It's a him. Well, you told me it seems But sad. we don't want you to say nothing because you're going to hint. It's all the, all, it's Couples that right. know each other as well as you guys do can hint very easily. I don't know her name. Just. Doesn't. Oh, uh, come on. Put a, something that's I'll, I'll put, close that will give. That will let okay, us know okay, who you're talking on, about. Hold on, hold on, hold on. So. Uh, I think. I feel like he's doing the same thing that she me did. Me too. <laughs> me too. I bet you. Hold on. Oh, what is that? That's like hieroglyphs. Hieroglyphs? <laughs> I can't see nothing. Oh, my God. There's a lot of things going the on fan? there. Is this like a three-person? All right. He's just going no, with a bunch talking. of hints. You're talking. You can't say that. He's going with a lot of hints. That's all I'm saying. I don't know. I don't, I don't know her name, so I just said what she okay. does. Okay. All right. That's, that's what she does. Okay. 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 Wednesday. If you had to have sex with one person of the same sex, who would it be? Hmm. One person. Page from wrestling. Okay. Okay. He said a YouTube channel makeup artist. You watch her every fucking day. Oh, Bailey Sarian. Bailey, Would you have sex with her? I love her. Damn. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, so he, <laughs> he wasn't far off. She got nice lips. <laughs> okay. Now, if you had to have one sex, or if you had to sex with one man, <laughs> one who would it be? Jeffrey Star. <laughs> Jeffrey Star. He's had a lot of money. Yeah, he does. <laughs> she went with Deadpool. He's very. Ron, He's is that Ryan Reynolds? Ryan Reynolds. Yeah. Yeah. For a man now, you know. Like, <laughs> Ryan Reynolds is very good looking. <laughs> Ryan Reynolds is. Uh, you guys still, uh, you guys still beat everyone yeah, else. Still got <laughs> it. Even though you got, you guys got one forty-five. Yes. Oh, shit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Let's do a trick or treat. You know what we gotta do? You know what? We... Remember when you were younger, <laughs> and you went trick or treating? Tremaine, do you remember this? And you weren't allowed to look in the bag. You just had to guess what was in the bag. Nope. Do you guys remember that? Uh, you're a kid. I'm, you're I'm going looking screwed. for candy. He, he's knows, he knows where I'm going with this, so he's trying to say he doesn't know what's going to happen. <laughs> so remember when you were a kid, you had to just put your hand in and pull out a piece of candy? I know what you're talking about. So so you know what I'm going with this, right? Listen. Listen, man. I don't like anything besides Captain, and I have a bunch of bad choices over there. Come on. Oh, I know. that's why he's weird. Yes. <laughs> Tremaine. Trick or treat. Smell my feet. Come on. Pull something out. Now that I got to pull. Oh my God, I don't like this. Come on, pull something. Pull something. Motherfucker. You knew where it was. Oh, I don't want that. Oh, you're drinking it. Here, hold it for me. Oh, this guy's done. I don't like that. I'm scared. Screwball peanut butter whiskey. It actually doesn't sound too bad. That sounds disgusting. That does sound kind of gross. I like peanut butter and whiskey. See? You don't like anything. You're the devil. Mm. You hate it all. Oh, man. Uh, Did you guys go trick-or-treating on Halloween? We actually set up, like, stations out back of my mom's house. 
and like had a, each adult like bring a bag of candy, uh-huh. and then the kids went in a big old circle round and round multiple times because it was a Rona virus. Halloween, man. Makeshift Halloween. Come on, trying to sell it. Trick or treat. It's on my feet. Sorry, sorry. Or give me something tricky. We were going to do it around the house, but the dog shit in the yard, so we were worried about, you know, landmines <laughs> and shit for the kids. What kind of dog do you guys have? <laughs> it was the neighbor's neighbors. fucking dog. Uh, Tremaine's over We allowed to cuss on here? I cuss a lot. Yeah, you can. Bro, I came down covered in beer. We talked about your sex positions. Oh, okay. We're going to. We stopped a lot. There's no one that could talk about sex or curse words. No, uh, you can do all of those things, bro. Uh, we we got your horny. He's got Kahlua. I do what the fuck I want anyway. Right up the news. <laughs> <laughs> Little to the left. Little to the left. Right here. Yeah, that tastes just like peanut butter. Really? You smell. Yeah, I was gonna say, get a get a sniggy. A little sniffy. Oh, it smells exactly like peanut butter. It tastes. <laughs> How's your Kahlua going? Oh, you, <laughs> wait, is there something in there? Is there still alcohol in there? No. Okay. Yes. Tremaine, this is literally a sip. This is one ounce of alcohol. He let it touch his lips. He, coffee's in there too, like that. That's you coffee. like coffee, don't you? Not with that. <laughs> that was amazing <laughs> with coffee. Oh, it's way better with coffee. That's disgusting. Come on, man. That's disgusting. <sighs> what a puss. I'm not drinking that. Give me tequila. You're such a like, un. You know what? You about to call me a monkey, wasn't you? No, I thought about doing it. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say you're such a scared monkey. You know? <laughs> <laughs> I thought about it earlier. I was like, I can't say. Damn it. He takes away like I can't say anything about it. <laughs> oh. I love ice cream. Is it good? I know some. Which of the chips? Mm. Oh man. You know what we should do? We should watch the bitches be crazy club of the week. You can hit that button. Got your back, Jack. Bitches be crazy. Bitches, bitches, bitches be crazy. Bitches be crazy. Next one. Bitches, bitches, bitches be crazy. Got your back, Jack. Bitches be crazy. This is perfect for your costume. I forgot I had this. <laughs> oh, I can't wait to see this. Hold on. Holy shit. Hey, 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 no, 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 no. That was a, guy. That was a hell of a mess. Holy <laughs> shit. Kirk Cobain over there. He's still at the back, he said. Oh, man, it's fucking nachos, bro. What's up, fool? What's up, dude? Chill out. What the fuck, dude? Relax, dude. You're big enough. He hit his food. That's just to relax, bro. Hey, 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 go. World star. <laughs> this has got to be a Seattle world star. <laughs> Fucking world star. Has to be Seattle, right? Like, there's like a bunch of Kurt Cobain look wannabes, <laughs> and then the blackest dude there is Mexican. <laughs> <laughs> I like how he hit food out of his head. And he's like, "Yeah, Yo, you gotta chill, man." <laughs> like, what's your problem? Why, why are you fighting? 
<laughs> When's the last time you were in a fight? The devil. Like a legit fight? Yeah, like a legit, like, oh, like you were the monkey, like, in that situation. Nah, I'm, I'll never be the monkey. <laughs> <laughs> you want to be at the rail, dude. We were at a party, and we didn't know that each other were there. And his sister beat him up, and he was definitely the monkey that time. Yo. She gave him a black eye because he won't hit his sister back, he says. All right, so I let a woman beat on me. Okay. But it's your I, sister? I didn't hit her back, yeah. My sister can whoop my Okay, ass. so the last time I actually put my hands on somebody, though, was, uh, oh, fuck, I don't remember. But we were at a bar. She went to the bathroom. She came back all distraught. I'm like, looking at her, I'm like, what's wrong with you? She's like, nothing, nothing. I'm like, no, something's wrong with you. What's wrong with you? She was like, um... Ah, uh, this guy over there tripped me on the way to the bar. Like, which one? He tripped her? Tripped her. I was like, that one. She was like, don't do nothing. I'm like, I'm not going to do nothing. A couple minutes later, I drank my beer. <laughs> I was like, I got to go to the bathroom. <laughs> I went to the bathroom. I grabbed him by the back of his head, and I smacked his head off the table. <laughs> 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 and he got kicked out, and I got made to sit down and finish my beer. Now, th- so you weren't sober at this point. Were you on drugs at the point? At this point? Probably. Probably? Yeah. Now, do you think you would react the same way sober that you would? No. <laughs> no. Now, I if mean, somebody tripped more, her now, what would you do? Would you be more mad? More? Um, no. My temper's calmed down a lot. Uh, I don't get as mad as easily anymore because I have more to lose. Um, but when you have, you know, when you think you got nothing to lose, you don't give a fuck. You know what I mean? It's, yeah. You're, I'm, my temper would fly off the handle really quick, really fast. Uh, no, I probably would. I would handle it differently, but I Probably still bang his head off the bar. <laughs> most, most definitely. You, two things you don't fuck with, man. It's my, my woman and my kids. Exactly. Right, right. Other than that, you can call me whatever you want. Shit, you could probably trip me. I would probably react a whole lot differently. Absolutely. If you fuck with my woman or my kids, you'll get your head off the bar. Now, what if a woman were to trip her? What would you do then? Uh, send for yourself, boo-boo. Sorry. <laughs> I, I love you to death, but I know she's a scrapper. We like mosh pits, bro. There we go. Like, there dude, we go. I, I know she can fend for herself. Have you ever been in a mosh I'm pit? Mosh doubting my mind. Um, no, I didn't want to, because I really feel like I'm going to get too serious, you know, and I don't want to. You don't get too serious, bro. I thought There's so. There's a code. I feel like You're it is. You're not going to get hurt. If you fall down, they'll pick you up. They're, they're not there to fucking hurt you. They're there to have fun. Some monsters, Joe Dons, you think that they out there to nah. knock you the Dude, fuck out. I got punched yeah. in the face. Thank hard. you. That's what the I'm saying. The first sauce pit I was ever in, a chick hit me in the face, and I wasn't <laughs> sure if I was horny or mad. <laughs> <laughs> I was totally horny. <laughs> <laughs> like, I, was, I was supposed to go with another girl, and then she backed out the last minute. She, had, she was a bit, whatever, whatever she was. She wasn't there, and I was just, so I went to the bar, and I was like, I gave the bartender a 20. I was like, hey, man, every time I come up here, I want nothing but Jack. Like, you put a little bit of Coke in there if it makes everyone feel better, but I just want Jack. Like, two hours into drinking Jack nonstop. And I was, I saw a mosh pit. I was like, I didn't really understand it. I was like, I mean, I'll just walk in and see what happens. I got pushed a bunch. I got pushed down. I fell. Everybody picked me up. I was like, oh, yeah. And then the second time I got pushed down, a girl picked me up. I was like, oh, thanks. And she punched me right in the <laughs> face. I was like, she's not bad looking. What do I do here? Yeah. <laughs> and then I was like, I'm too drunk. Even if I wanted to fuck at that point, it wasn't gonna happen. <laughs> Just accept it. <laughs> but yeah, have you? Do you throw punches in the pit? Not, not really. Throw punches. I'm more of a elbows. Sometimes, yeah. Um, I'm more of like a shoulder. Uh, I'm heavy stocked and I'm short, so I run around and run into people. I got big shoulders. Exactly. Yeah, I like just fucking, you know, hit, exactly. Just hit people. Bulldog you know what I mean? Like I like I, that. I I'll like hit that. you just straight fucking. You see, ah, I'm cool. I'm, I'm cool to like that. You and shit. You I know love me? shit like, like that. I just don't like when you, you we get call that them backhand skanker coming. Pits? That skanker pits, dude. I don't. Yeah, I don't like that too much. They do them arm flailing. Yes, that's what I mean. Nope, nope. That's the shit you see on YouTube where people are making fun of people. I'm not into that shit. Yeah, I feel like that's a fight automatically. It's um. Even though I'm trying to have fun. You wildly, wildly get punched in the fucking back of the head or in the that's face. That's what I'm saying. And you didn't even see it coming. Not like, at that's, exactly. That's, that's what I'm fucked saying. Up. Like, yes, that's yes. not the fit I enjoy. Now, in my situation, the girl was picking me up. She punched me in the face. What do you think it was happening? Was she like... She was just giving you a high five. Yeah, that's yeah, exactly. Like, you think I, she was trying I, to fuck? High five. To the yeah, face. Probably. You think she was trying to fuck? I'm possibly. Oh, I man. I fucked that up. Didn't I? I, don't uh, mind getting, I don't mind getting choked and smacked around. Exactly. Right, you know? That's what it is. She might have wanted to see what you were going to do. Exactly. <laughs> I didn't know what to do. I was too drunk. I would have smacked her right the fuck back. <laughs> <laughs> like, uh, how you doing? <laughs> <laughs> nice. What's that movie? Uh, you ever see Wild West? Uh, Will Smith? 
Yeah, blah, blah, blah. Remember sorry. when the girl has, he's like, I was just saying, how you doing, girl? Nice to meet you. <laughs> <laughs> remember that when they were about to hang him? <laughs> She's like, ah. Anyway. No, I don't remember. No. You never saw it? You saw it? No, I, I saw it. I just don't remember Wild Wild about... West. Ain't that long ago that I watched that? Yeah, it's a long time. I mean, I think it was on Netflix not that long ago. That's why I remember it. But I don't always remember shit like that, but I do. I remember that one. That wasn't a good movie from Will Smith, just saying. <laughs> compared to Will Smith movies now? Compared to Will Smith movies now? That's a classic. What, you mean, movie? You mean, what, what, what movie are you coming at right now? All of Will Smith, all of Will Smith's movies in the past ten years have sucked. Don't come at Bad Boys because you're lying to yourself. Uh, no, I would never come at Bad Boys. That was like twenty years ago. No, that was like, the, the newest one just came out. The hell you I mean? I haven't seen it yet. All right then, but you talking shit on it right now? No, I'm talking shit on Will Smith. Will, Will Smith's son's already doing movies, dude. No, he he sucks. His son sucks <laughs> balls. All right. In pursuit of happiness, they were both good. They after were good. That, they were good. After that, come on, bro. He hasn't I'm telling shit. you, Bad Boy, you're not listening. Bad it's, Boys 3. Have you guys seen Bad Boys 3? I, I saw one and two. It. I didn't see three yet. Me neither. I, I, wanted wanted to see. I promise you, oh, y'all going to love it. I oh, my it. God. Bad it's Boys great. 1 and 2 were awesome. I yes. feel like 3 came out during the pandemic, no? Was that um, I think so. Don't, don't, a little bit before, yeah. Exactly. How did you say it? Did you see it in the theaters? Yeah. Damn, It's good. I want to say it. I love the movies. What was that movie you just ran it that you said sucked? That they made uh, into a regular movie. It was a cartoon. Oh, Trolls? No. Garfield? One of your favorite like movies. It was uh, the chick with the, the Chinese chick that joins the army. Oh, Mulan. 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 Was they that? Were, they, it, it, I it, heard it whack. So it wasn't that it was whack. It was it was made well, but it it you can't compare it, it to the It captured the movie no. with the funniness. No, and exactly. I know. I figured that. They wouldn't do that. The Lion, Lion King is the same ordeal. When you can't capture so much of the true feeling of like when Mufasa died and all that shit, you're not going to get the same feeling. Now, so. like the way they did Beauty and the Beast, that's what I expected. Was awesome. I, I never saw Be- I never saw the cartoon, the nor did I see the real version. I didn't see either. Spot on to the cartoon, dude. But should so I see the cartoon first before yes. I see the real version? Yep. Okay. Yeah. Watch okay. the cartoon, then watch the real version. Gotcha. I'm telling you, you're going to be like, holy shit! Like it. That's it's see, that's something that's good. It's a great movie. That's though. good. That's good. That's good. Where's my trick or treat at? Oh. Where's my trick or treat? Trick or treat, smell my feet. Come on, Tremaine. Let's drink something good to eat. No, you, all right, you can drink something good to eat. I'm gonna break this fucking thing too, just like I did that fucking a bird on that fucking thing. Oh man, I'll go to Jack. You want some, you want some tang, right? Yes, it is because you're black. Do you want it? You got tequila. In <laughs> I got ho- oh, I got another Jose. Yep, that's what I want. I was gonna say I got I got some Jose's for you on purpose because I knew how you were. I knew you liked the Jose's. Use a hose, eh? Oh, shit, man. So did you guys expect to see some guy dressed as Stone Cold coming down here covered in beer when you got here? That no, was quite a delight. <laughs> I had no idea what to expect. Yeah, it was awesome. He's like, hey, we're going to go do this. <laughs> <laughs> and then she was like, hey, I'm going to Walmart for seven fucking hours. I'm going to spend $1,000. I'll be back later. I'm like, uh, okay. So wait, how do you... Oh. Calm down. How do you know, Tremaine? I, I think we got into how long you've known each other, but I don't think we got into... I... Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Before anything, let me let me tell Sean some. Um, we I love you. <laughs> I love you too. Uh, we don't <laughs> say names. So no, I wasn't and, say names. a name you want to, but the name that will help him for you is Baby Mama One. <laughs> that's her name. That's her name. Wait, wait, wait! I haven't seen you in a while. How many fucking baby mamas? Is there? <laughs> <laughs> I got, I got a daughter as well, but that's it. I was about to say. So he has two baby weak as so, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> he has a baby mama one, baby mama two. I have my ex. We call the whore, and we have beautiful Ashley over there, mm. uh, and she's already mad. I don't even know why she's mad. She's doing work. She's so, always doing homework. Yeah, my cousin. Your cousin. My, my is, late wife's cousin mm-hmm. is. Baby number one? Sister's daughter's baby number one. Wait, that was too many things. You just said three to four. Well, guess what? The next door neighbor's uncle's cousin's brother's doll uh, is a relative to the person that stepped in his shit. There's too many, there's too many things. <laughs> <laughs> How do you know this man? He just told you. I didn't understand it. I can't follow that bouncing ball. There was too many balls. Baby number one. Baby mama number one. My yeah. cousin. There you go. Are he you still? in the beginning. Well, no, he no, but he's he said other things. Agreed, was, agreed. But it was my cousin by marriage, so it's not really his cousin. No, I know okay. he told you that right after he said cousin. So I, it was my late wife's cousin. You see, that's what he said. Sister, daughter. So it's like third cousin once removed or some bullshit like that. I don't fucking remember what. It is. That's what it is. Are you still friends with baby mom, or do you still talk to baby mom one? Um, on occasion, I see. Uh, well, I've actually met your son at, at he was swimming at the pool. Yeah, <laughs> you did hear. Yeah, he went swimming at the uh, summer. Mo- mother-in-law. She's my mother-in-law too. I consider her my mother-in-law. 
Oh man, Jack just Who, and Donna mm-hmm. rubbed you the wrong way. Oh, just it like, went in my nose. <laughs> she takes my daughter, and that's Fuck her. That's her. My mom and pop up. I love Andana. Mm. Yeah. So now that you don't drink or do anything, do you look down on people that do? Like, are Fuck you looking no. down on me? Are you looking Fuck down? No. <laughs> look, are everybody we, gonna do what they want to do. Are you exactly. worried about my shits though? Like, are you worried about my shit? <laughs> they're no. lo- they're really watery right now. No. Nope. More fiber. That's true. Mm. <laughs> you just stay <laughs> up there. Oh yeah. yeah. Talk about that fiber. <laughs> my man. They all like to drink. They all like to smoke. Yeah. You know, shit like that. It is what it is. Do we go to bars? I go. Do you sing? Fun. Do you sing too? I play the drums. So you don't sing, right? Nah. Which, what's your, like, the band, or what's the song that your band plays the most? They, mm-hmm. Like, do you guys, are what? you guys like a, a bar do band? Do you do covers play? more to enter, or do you do your own We do music. no covers. We do all original. I love it. Mm-hmm. I love it. So. Um, you wouldn't know. I mean, you yeah, know. I was going to say, but you would, like, all right, so if you were to just. Play and sing a song by yourself just for shits and gigs. Like you're at home, just like, um, a dude, she's a dude, he's a dude, <laughs> we're all dudes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> now, what song would you play and sing? Like, have you heard him sing songs like that with playing the drums? He so really sing it, too it would probably often. be Cloak and Dagger because I like the beat to it. And How's it go? Can you like give us like a little beat and it's singing? Hey, you're gonna call me out on the spot now. You want to fucking hear it? I have it. No, 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 no. You got to do the beat. We, got, we got drums over there. Give us the beat in the song. Just give us the. You got drum. I could play the motherfucker for you. I can't fucking do it. I mean, I can we should do that it. towards the end. At the, the, the end of the drum, we just we'll, we'll do that at the I end. Show you a little bit. Yeah, yes, we'll do a little. Yes, yes. The outro is like a more of a rock version Shit, than you, the intro. You haven't heard me play in a while. Huh? The last time I remember you when you were saying that you were going to start one a band yeah. and everything, and then you had your your uh, drums downstairs in the basement, yeah. and then we was chilling down there for a little bit before we stopped seeing each other. For now, do you think you started? Do you think? All right. So, how long have you been playing the drums for? Your whole life, basically. Uh, I think I bought my first set when I was like fourteen. You bought it yourself? Yeah. My Did dad, your parents my hate dad it? was like, "I'm not buying you fucking drums." Like, the fuck you Did want? you have a lot of energy as he a kid? Said, yeah. Because I, I think my like, my nephew was like fucking. My nephew's room. like that. I'm like, I think we should get him a drum set just to have something to. It was the worst mistake my parents have ever done. Yeah. They, well, they were like, um, if you're if you're going to do it, you're going to work for it. Mm-hmm. So I completely gutted the inside of the house, everything, and. uh he gave me the money to pay for it. And I bought the set, and it was nice. I bought all the shells and everything, but I had no cymbals. Mm-hmm. So I was like, well, how the fuck do I play the drums with no cymbals? So you know them popcorn containers that you get for Christmas? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I used oh. to take the lids, <laughs> yeah. I know you're talking about the, the, the gold lids drums, off of them yeah. things and put a hole in it and stick it on there as a fucking symbol. And I used to play yeah. the popcorn containers as that's fucking awesome. That's, that's like Dave Grohl. He used yeah, to play the, the pillows. Yeah. And that's why he plays so fucking loud. <laughs> Dave Grohl's played, he, when he first started learning, to play the drums, he was playing pillows. He just put them up, and that's why he, he bangs so fucking hard. He's the he's the drummer from uh, Nirvana. Yep. Okay. And then he sings in uh the fuck is his band name? Uh, Foo Fighters. Foo Fighters. Foo yeah, Foo. yeah. I always forget their name for some he reason. He just but. he just did something on um the the uh, young girl plays the drums and shit, and he like matched her in a contest or whatever. She was like playing the drums. He'd play the drums, and then she'd play the song. He's such a nice guy. He played the song. He's, I mean, he's really fucking. Yeah, cool like the public art, like that dude. Like nobody gets a better rap than him. I was like the nicest guy ever. He's, I mean, Rob Williams, but I oh, goddamn I miss Rob Williams. Yes, I do. I think we, we've talked about this before. Like the worst celebrity to ever die. Mine was Rob Williams. You had somebody else though, didn't you? No, Robbie was here. Rob, oh, yeah. Robbie was yeah. here. This is when Robbie was the coach. What's the biggest like? What's the celebrity death that affected you guys the most? Like, what? I don't give a fuck. You don't care about Rob, Rob Williams. I don't I. care about anybody. Jesus, okay. Jesus, Rob Williams, bro. After man, really doesn't. What about me? You just said I was handsome earlier. You wanted to have sex with me. A bunch of things. <laughs> totally. But. But if I died, you'd be like, ah. Yeah. What about, what if she, what about, what about if she died? That'd be a different story. Uh, That's you, my girl. Man. Oh, man. But I can be your guy. <laughs> you're my guy, guy. You're my dude, dude. You're my guy, bro. It's not gay. You're if my it's bro, in a three way. <laughs> what about you? What's the celebrity death that affect you the most? Like, I, I don't really get attached like that. Like, I, n- I normally no. don't, but if Sandra Bullock died, I'd be really upset. Because you, dude, have you seen she's her face like lately? My, she's been my crush since I was a little kid. Did you see her? What's that movie on Netflix where you Bird can't? Box. Bird, Box. Bird Box. Have you seen her on Bird Box? I have not. Her face oh, yeah. That's what has I changed. Like, she did really? a lot of work to her face. Like, she does not look good anymore. No shit. I'm, what was that movie where she was in, uh, with a football player? Uh, Blindside. Yeah. Blindside. That was the last time she looked good where her oh, face shit. was normal. Not at all. Huh? 
Well, no, but like no, her she face, had the same her face. face. The same, though. She had the same Blonde face. Hair, but now her face is pfft, get the fuck out of here! Like, oh, I don't, shit. like she done. But the movie Bird Box is good, by the way. Check it out. It is. Um, but yeah, she does not look good at all anymore. Like her face now, at all. Now losing some, losing some of the people like Robin Williams and shit sucks because um, now one of my favorites, favorite people ever was um, the guy who wrote Drew Spider Man and shit. Um, uh, Stanley. Oh, uh, Stanley. 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 So Stanley was like uh, idol of mine, bro. I'm a fucking huge nerd. So just say Stanley when I ask the question. <laughs> but when he died, did it affect me? No. Or that? <laughs> like it, no, no, no. That was the question. Like, you when, when I put my <laughs> when I put my pants on, I'm like, oh, Robin Williams. But I'm like, that was the one that I actually cared a little bit about. I, oh, okay. I should have said cared the most okay. about. There you so go. I'll give you that. So will you say Stanley is the one that affected you the most? Stanley, yeah. He now, was an inspiration would you say for kids the one that the world. Who would you say that affected you the most? Um, I mean, I was a little upset when Stanley died, too. It's so, okay. We're, we're both nerds when it comes to stuff like that. We love movies. We love... He got me looking at comic books. I mean, I never did that before, but... Mm. I, I mean, that... I love jerking also. Hugh Hefner was probably a big one. What about you, Shran? Um, <laughs> Mike, Michael Jackson. Michael Jackson? Um, really? It was very hard for me with Michael Jackson. All right, do you him. believe that he touched kids? No. Do you just say that because you're a fan? No, I'm dead ass. You don't think he touched kids? No. What about you guys? You know, I don't. I don't either. I was a fan, and I st- like. You know how when people die, you just kind of know where you were when they die. Like, mm-hmm. yeah. like when you ask older people, it's like, where were you where John F. John F. K. He, he died. Yeah. yeah. Um, I still remember where I was when when they announced that Michael Jackson died. Like yeah, I was. Too. I, I know exactly where I was. I was, I was taking a shit. Mom's. I was taking a shit at Robbie's house in. Lancaster. Why does it always got to come back to the shit, man? I, <laughs> I, I poop a lot. Like, there's a lot of poops my day. Yes, he does. I judge, like, you know, people are like, oh, I would, like, you have, like, three meals a day. I have, like, six shits a day. I'm like, oh, uh, that was, like, before or after the second shit. So I know I know what was going on that. So It, it felt, it didn't feel real. It messed with my body because the music was, st- was, is my life, is the music growing up. So, yeah. With Michael Jackson. I don't, I don't think influence. he did that shit. I, I think people get a bad rap because of how big your name is. Yes, I agree. And with and how media throw, you don't say that shit for people, somebody doesn't say that about you forever. People shove, shovel shit on everybody. Yeah, bro. and look, with his look type at, of power, look at Mike Tyson. Yes. Mike Tyson's a fucking icon. Yes. What's bad about Mike Tyson? Everybody what? throws him under the bus. Exactly. Until everything. eventually he well, was like, you know lisp, what? Or? He was like, you know what? Fuck this. This is who I am. This is what I am. Mm-hmm. Like, and then it, and it took is what years it is. Everybody's that. like, okay, that's Mike Tyson. That's exactly. It. And then he's a bad motherfucker. motherfucker. Mike you know, Tyson. He's a bad motherfucker. Yeah, you, have you seen him working out recently? Yeah. <laughs> Holy <laughs> shit, <laughs> dude. He can be 95 years old. I don't give a fuck. I'm not taking him out. I'm not taking him out. No, he's not. He's knocking him out. He's a fucking beast, dude. Yeah, he's a beast. Even his age, he's a fucking beast. I was watching workout videos. I'm like, holy You don't forget how to throw a punch. No. At, a, at a certain but, like, but I understand you look like you lose something when you get older. You should. He didn't. He looked like he got stronger. But it, it's still like you still have. You should get. You're gonna get weaker. But you don't s- look like he got weaker. Like he got yeah, stronger. but I'm saying you still know how to throw it. It's like playing the drums or riding a bike. Once you do it, you know how to do it for mm-hmm. a long time. Yeah, like and get a little rusty. Punching yeah. something that. I mean, I'm not saying he can fight somebody that's a, a up and coming guy like 30 years old or 20 years old. But I'm saying that. An average person, he's still gonna knock him the fuck out. Yes, and I'm, but I'm saying a 20 year old prime pro- boxer fighting him now, they're not gonna be able to take one of his. Yeah, hits. yes, they will. No, oh, wow. they won't. Yeah. Did you ever see? Did you Did you ever hear about how they equivalented to, um, what it feels like to get punched in the face by him? No, I don't think no. he knows this. He said, "Stand eight feet from the wall, and run face first into a brick wall." Yeah. Without stopping, face first. Now do you? That's who, one punch from Mike Tyson. That's what they say <laughs> it feels like. Who is the Who is the Asian dude who used to do karate? At, was it Bruce, Jet, Bruce Lee? Bruce Lee. Now do you think Bruce Lee could beat up Mike Tyson? No. Come on, he knows the fucking. I don't know, man. No, I he know Mike. T- no, I know shit. he gonna be able. I'm just saying that no, he knows the know. techniques and everything to break him down or whatever the case is. But if he get connected with one of Mike Tyson hit, time, he's done. That's right, what I'm the, saying. How about this? Conor McGregor in a boxing match. Against Con- Mike Tyson. Look, Conor McGregor in a boxing match, period, is just money. Yeah. Exactly. That's all it is. It's publicity. He's not, well, right, well, he's not going to like Tyson either. I, t- Tyson would knock him the fuck yes. out. You got to remember. You think Tyson he, would knock him out? He's a heavyweight yeah. fighter. He's way, he's going to right, what if he gains? I don't, know how, I don't know how much he weighs now. What does he weigh? 175 probably? Who? Tyson? McGregor. McGregor's small. I got him. McGregor's low. Yeah, uh, he's 170 small. something or something like that. But he's gonna, he would do that for the money. Okay, I know oh, yeah. he's trying so to gain that weight, but he's going to get extra. No, there's no way he's building that weight to be a heavyweight. What is Tyson now, like 53? Yeah, but he's not doing it. Nope. 
Nobody's well, stupid like that. The only thing reason Roy's doing it because Roy was also a powerhouse. Yeah. Not with knockouts as much, but he was still a powerhouse. I still think that match was rigged. Oh, you th- I thought it was all publicity. Yeah, I thought most of it was publicity. I think both, most they were both Conor McGregor, McGregor is all publicity. <laughs> Conor McGregor's all publicity. Yeah. Yeah. But, but, especially after he lost that fight. That's when he's when he lost he's been garbage match. for a while. Not gar- I don't want to say garbage, but he's not what he once was at yeah, all. I agree. And okay. then that's like the what's what's the girl's name? Uh, Ronda Rousey. She left it after that first night. How she left it? She she left. She, she went yeah. wrestling for a reason. She got the what do you call yeah, that? She, she went to fake left. wrestling for a reason. <laughs> <laughs> she left WWE and because she got pregnant. Oh, did she? she got, no, she broke her hand, and she was saying she she left to. I heard babies. she got knocked up. No, because you would see that she had a baby by now. Knocked up. <laughs> I she won't you, let I, me out. I bet you it was doggy style. She won't let me <laughs> out. Yeah, we have a we have a um a theory that all girls' favorite sex position is doggy style. Mm-hmm. I don't know about everybody. And do you think now it, is it your favorite sex position though? I mean, I enjoy it. Though. <laughs> now, do you think it is because you don't have to see the guy and you can go into a different place and think of somebody else? No. Mm-mm. I feel the confidence thing. It's a confidence thing confidence for them. Confidence thing, yeah. Why would it be a confidence thing for her? Because they judge themselves more than anybody. Their boobs, their stomach, their legs, whatever. Agreed. If they turn around and they're bent over, all you see is their back. Either full Wait, confidence. Nobody can hear you. Their confidence is fucking Agree. Agreed. <laughs> erect. <laughs> their confidence is erect. Mm-hmm. I really think it's a confidence thing. I have a question real fast. So you said you had a late wife. And then you met her. How soon in between? Babe, yeah. what are you doing? We can fucking hear you. Tom <laughs> Robbie sucks ass. Can you shut the door, please? I tried. Move the light. I tried. I went. I got. I God got damn it, he's so fat. Rude. Look how fucking fat he is. <laughs> Bro, my boobs might be out, but they're not as big as your boobs. This is in. Like this is a fucking Halloween this show. This is Halloween. Fucking hat every day. Fucking close the door. Close the door. Wearing the scariest costume yet. I'm a gorilla. <laughs> oh fuck you! He said you look the same. <laughs> <laughs> That's our resident Puerto Rican. Um, so how soon? In be- all right. So how long was there in between? You're there late. Was, there was no in between. What do you? All right. So our relationship was on the rocks. And <laughs> who's what relationship? Marriage. Marriage. Uh huh. And then um, we kind of split up and did our own thing. But by when you say late wife, did she pass? Yes, yeah. but that was after. So like we split up. Mm-hmm. She got a new boyfriend. I got a new girlfriend. We did our own thing. Eventually, a girlfriend or two or five, whatever. I met her, and then that's when we started our relationship. Later on, found out, you know, she uh, did some things and passed away. Were you still technically married when? Yes. She passed. Mm-hmm. Now, did you have any? When she passed, did you? Did that like make you? Did you have a day where you had to be quiet, like? By yourself or no? That was the hardest thing I ever had to do was tell my kids that she died. That was the worst day of my life. That, that, you were there. I, yeah. I was the one that told them. He couldn't. He couldn't. He didn't know how to tell them. How do you tell? Uh, you can't. Uh, we told him, but it was difficult, man. Now, how was before? Right before she died, you said you had the kids with her, and then that she she had a boyfriend at the time. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Now, how was that situation with the kids? Well, they lived with us full time, yeah. so okay. we were together. We were together what? Maybe seven months, seven, eight months, and then we got full custody of the kids. So they came to live with us full time. Like, I had no kids. I'm like almost 25, 26 years old, and all of a sudden I got two kids. <laughs> so, <laughs> Bam. <laughs> um, Essence I, of Emerald, baby. Bam. So I've been in, I've been in uh, our daughter's life, our, well, our older daughter. I'm going to fuck this candy up. And Go ahead, bro. Since she's been 11 months. So she was 11 months when mm-hmm. I came into the picture, and then um, our son was five. Mm hmm. And then they came to live with us full time. He t- just turned six. He's going into kindergarten, like the whole nine. Like it, it just was a whirlwind. And this then um, we had them ever since. So like they've always been with us. But um, I don't know. I we tried. I mean, we tried to. We it was for all about the kids. So yeah, we tried well, to make everything. Sure make every the kids always come first. So you know we were very cordial with each other, kind of make it work. Now do they still say like? Do they still bring up? I, do they call you mom? No. Now, do they still bring up mom at all? Not a question for me, but Sean, um, I don't know about your daughter, the other kid you had, but how old was the second kid when she died? 
She was five. She had just turned. She, wow, she was that old. It was literally old. the week of her birthday party when she passed. Wow, her fifth old. birthday party. I didn't know she we, was that old. We actually debated on canceling her birthday or not because we spent like a ridiculous amount of money to have a pool party at <laughs> at the school. So we rented two parties, which was what one fifty a piece or two hundred a piece or something like that. Two hundred a piece. Um, like anyway, we spent like five hundred bucks just to rent this place. Yeah, and we were like, oh, let's. Um, we should cancel it. Like, I can't do that to my daughter. Not, not at this yeah. time. You know what I mean? Like, occupy her mind. Yeah. Do something. So we kept the party going. It was what it was, man. How how was the kids? Did Deshaun take it hard? Um, they didn't really. It, it, for Gia, she didn't understand. I didn't feel that she would. But Sean's a different story. Sean, he, he doesn't. He's like him. They keep everything in. They don't want to talk about it. Like, mm. occasionally here and there. But, um. So every once in a while, he'll ask me certain things. Other than that, he's kind of like, eh. Does that make you feel any type of way when he does ask you? No, nah, I'd never talk down on her, man. I'm not, I'm not saying in that way. Yeah. Just that way. Yeah. Remi- remi- I don't. I don't lie to my kid, period. If he asked me, I'd tell him. Exactly. So if it he's sucks. like, what happened to mommy? You would. I don't know. Again, I would I tell him. I would tell him. Do you mind saying what happened or? Um. I'd, I'd rather not. I don't feel yeah, like she, okay. she made some decisions that she shouldn't have. Yeah, okay. I, I don't want to yeah. get no, into it. I so, just wanted to see if. So, like, when he asks, is there a Santa Claus? Fuck no, there ain't a Santa Claus. <laughs> exactly. You see this fat motherfucker right <laughs> exactly. here? Exactly. Yeah, I'm Santa Claus, bitch. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> like, I don't fucking play that shit. Yeah. Is there a tooth fairy? Fuck no, there ain't no tooth fairy. You want a dollar? Here's a fucking dollar. dollar. Exactly. I don't play that shit. I ain't fucking lying to I'm you. I'm the same way with Junior. Now, my, exactly. my daughter, she's at the age, though. She's uh, she's still young, so she still believes in the tooth fairy and Santa. So I, I encourage her to, like, you know, keep your imagination that feels different alive. With, that feels different with doing You know, my son's 13, dude. He don't, you know. Exactly. I'm not going to fucking tell him otherwise. Exactly. Like, you're, you're you're in middle school, bro. You're about to go to high school. Like, exactly. You're, you're not going to fucking high school believing in Santa Claus. Exactly. You ain't how, old, how old was he when you told him? Um, I, I don't know. Probably about 10, 11. I, I feel like at that Something age, like that. most kids know. They're, yeah. Like their classmates are going to start to be like, you're. Once he idiot. starts questioning, yeah. like hardcore, yeah, you know, bro. It is what it is. But you just go, oh, Santa brought you this until like, until he goes, did Santa really buy this? No. Fuck no. What do you want? And then I go, uh-huh. yeah. <laughs> that's, that's what it goes. You get $500 for Christmas. I tell what him, do you want to spend it on? I, I tell him straight up, you're lucky you even got fucking Christmas, okay? Because <laughs> if it was up to me, I wouldn't even celebrate. Quads a motherfucker. I, I, don't even like, I don't even like fucking Christmas. Me either. There's nothing about it. Everybody's fake. No. Because you fake get, you're, you're forcing fuck. people to give other people's gifts when they Halloween don't either want to. Holiday ever. Exactly. St. Paddy's Day, motherfucker. I'm a Thanksgiving person. Oh, you don't so. drink anymore, though. I don't so. drink anymore. I'm, I am Irish as fuck, so, I mean. Yeah. But. You got a three-inch dick and everything, huh? When when you put <laughs> three inches from the floor. <laughs> <laughs> when I'm on Lay the ground. Laying on my stomach. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, Halloween, man. When you put a mask on somebody, you see who they really are. You know what I mean? Like they give you. The hey, wait, wait, hold on. Was that a racist I was gonna say, to I was gonna me? say, you racist right. monkey, <laughs> motherfucker. I'm not the actual fucking man. You racist motherfucker. Look, they, they, they will show you them true selves once you put a mask on. Like if you put a mask on somebody, they're gonna act like who they want to act. Like. I agree. Are you saying you're the devil? Or? Hey, if you don't know who I am, I can act like whoever I want to be. Even I though I got exactly a devil mask on, I'm still gonna be me because I'm me wherever the fuck. Exactly. I, I, I don't change be. for nobody. Exactly. I don't care if I'm talking to the CEO or the fucking janitor. I treat them exactly the same. Dude, exactly. No matter you, where I go, you will suck their dick no matter how much money they make, right? I mean, he tries to make everyone gay. Don't. <laughs> I mean, if you want to be gay, <laughs> look, look, I ain't, I ain't against it, and I ain't with it. But I mean, it is what it is. <laughs> twenty dollars is twenty dollars. <laughs> I knew that was. I have twenty dollars. Hey, come on, twenty dollars. I'm just waiting. I knew it. Sorry. I was gonna say five dollars. <laughs> I got that. I, I got that T-shirt from Wildwood a couple of years ago. So. He doesn't do five. He goes twenty dollars. He's a he's a high class hoe. Today, <laughs> that's because it's Sundays till we go. So we have. By the way, I learned this in Vegas when you lick the dollar bill. It's kind of dirty. I want to. I'll throw it there. Uh, it sticks in your forehead. That's what you. Go, you know, you go to a lot of fucking uh you strip know, clubs you, and stuff. You know, COVID is out here. And, uh, I got bro. I got coronavirus. Shit is real. No, so, no, only white people would do this shit. I don't know. Shit. After they only white said. people would do this shit. Let's say what the fuck white people. We have a new segment called What the Fuck White People, uh, where I show videos of 
white people. And we say, <laughs> what the fuck, white no, people? I'm not trying to get a kiss at all. Remain's about to bust through his fucking pants. She's casting the spell on you right now. I don't know if I like that. <laughs> oh. I can tell you, your breast stink. <laughs> <stinks. laughs> She's casting the spell on you. Her breast stink. <laughs> and now you're hers. Why does it smell like booty hole? <laughs> I don't like that sound. Oh, I, <laughs> I, don't, I don't like that sound. Oh. This is what the original videos were. It makes me want to like fucking murder somebody. Oh, that's horrible. She's casting a spell. It sounds like she says, "I want." <laughs> I ain't gonna say. It. <laughs> <laughs> something about licking all over her dick or something. Listen, I don't know listen, I don't know listen. I, don't listen, I, I ain't gonna lie. I can't lie. But, um, <laughs> Would you fuck? Yeah, damn scared people. That, 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 <laughs> yeah, that, yeah. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me tell you why, though. Don, that turns me on. The sounds? Not, it don't sound like that because that was, she's actually talking. That was a 20-minute video that I cut down, by the way. And you left the other bullshit. With <laughs> you left the other bullshit. Sorcerer bullshit. Well, we had but, to hear what the sorcerer had to say, bro. Did any of you want to hear that sorcerer no. bullshit? Thank you. That was a waste of my time. That was all about what the fuck white people. White people are fucking weird. It was a Halloween one. Everybody's fucking weird. Hmm. <sighs> I wish he was watch a lot of our episodes. Most of our episodes are weird people. Yeah, you don't see the people you put on here. <laughs> 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 All right, this used to be called Romantic Fail, and what it started as is like weird dating videos. And then when Tremaine joined me as a co-host, it went to like weird sex videos because I was like, I want to see how weird I can get it. And weird <laughs> Tremaine would like, I want to weird out Tremaine. That's my favorite thing to do is weird out Tremaine. And then, and now it's just where it is. It's just weird white people. It's just what the fuck white people because so many of the romantic fouls were just white people trying to do normal things, but they were so fucking weird. And it was always a white person. It was never like a, a black guy, a Hispanic girl. It was always a white guy doing some weird shit. That's all he shows me. On <laughs> 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 the romantic, only on the romantic one. That's yeah. All. So now it's what the fuck white people. And so Tremaine, that was something I wanted to bring up during the romantic foul was ASMR, which is just noises that turn people in. Like, oh. See how she was... Like you can like, like there's ones where there's probably ones where they just eat tacos. <sighs> I hate when people chomp when they eat. Yeah. Now, would you fuck her if that was the noises she made when she was like again? You know. All right, let me explain again. Go ahead, explain. Explain your sex position with her. Like, how would you? How listen, would you? Listen, I'm not her? doing none of this. Listen, just listen to me real quick. Oh you understand God, what I'm trying to say? Else. All right. I'm trying to make it basic. You over here trying to go over to my sex life. That's not your fucking business, all right? We know your penis is small. Hey, little <laughs> spin, yeah. I, it feels good <laughs> when a girl is, like, kissing on my ear. Yeah, I get that. I love like the that. ear. Ear is a big thing for me. But that's what I mean. That is a very big thing for me. Are so. nipples a thing for you? No. No? No, I mean, I was Don't get it fucked up. I tried it before. It feels good when a girl is sucking your damn nipples. I ain't going to lie. I'm, I'm, you never ears I'm good for nipples. I'm like, eh, you can keep going down. So, you see, you're thinking too much. Stop thinking. I'm not no. thinking. I'm just telling you. We're I can thinking. tell you what I'm into. He could be into fucking putting up his ass, and he's going to go, I'm not into jelly in my belly button. I'm just saying that <laughs> <laughs> he likes jelly in his belly button. <laughs> <laughs> <All right. laughs> what's the, really what's the weirdest thing that he's into? You don't want to know. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Huh? Come on, what, what's the weirdest? What's the weirdest really shit you're doing? Yeah, come on, come on. He likes to be peed on. <laughs> Bam, <baby. laughs> okay, yeah, yeah, I like that. All right, all right, well, then I, I, well, I, I have a question though. On, man. All right, so do you like if? All right, so if, say you're like, you know, you're gonna have sex that night, right? Like me, I'm like, I want. We've just started getting the lube, and I fucking love it. And now I'm like, I want to have the lube by the bed, or I'm gonna have the lube right. He's there. still in the beginning stage, but keep going. Yeah, yeah I'm very. <laughs> I'm, <laughs> Yeah, he is. I, he is. She's, a, she's, <laughs> she's a, teaching him. Yeah, she's teaching she's, him. She's like expanding my. Anyway, expand my butthole. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, so, um, so, if you're gonna have sex, like you know how you're like, you're like you know what, I should do this that. Some people are like, oh, I shouldn't eat tacos before I have sex. Are you drinking a lot of water before you have sex? Then. No, we have three kids. We're we're lucky to get it when yeah. we can. Exactly. No. So wait, has have your kids ever walked in and you're covering in pee? Mm. No, it, it would it would be. Keep walking. Oh, sorry, It would be in like the the bathroom in the in the shower. Yeah, you know there's got to be mean, a it, good it, position like that they a can. A very one off. All right, question that: If it's in the shower, are you on the ground or is she peeing on your feet? 
I stick it between her legs and let her pee at me. Oh, on your penis. Yeah. Like, you want to like, pee at I don't know. I've never, I've never done that yet. Like, My penis. I like that one. <laughs> I usually call it a cock, but it's all right. <laughs> Some people call it different things. <laughs> I like when my dick's yellow. Piss on my dick, bitch. <laughs> Oh man! Well, I've never heard that. I haven't heard just piss on my dick, bitch, before. No, you never heard that. You've never heard it. No. You've heard girls no. say piss on my dick. You know, bitch? I, I you actually, heard, you know what I kind of enjoy, honestly. Yeah, she did it to me a few times, and I, at first I was like a little weirded out, but it was cool. But I'd be taking a shower right now, paying attention, and I was washing my my beard. I'd uh-huh. say hair, but I, don't have to <laughs> I, was, I still wash my scalp, bro. <laughs> you know, I was washing. She she reaches in the shower and just smacks my dick. I was like, ooh, ooh. <laughs> I was like, wait, what? Yeah. Uh-huh. So you're like, you're, you're <laughs> and she just smacked your dick. Oh, uh, she just smacked the head. Yep, just like that. I was like, ooh, yeah, ooh. Yeah, that actually felt so good. Where did yeah. that come from? I ever heard just smack. Uh, she just fucks around. It didn't hurt? Head. She usually smacks my ass. So when, and she smacked my penis, and I was like. Something new. Something my, my penis. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> my penis. <laughs> no, it was cool. <laughs> All right, so uh, we've done a question on here before. Who eats ass? Do you remember that, Tremaine? Do I remember? Because you made sure I remember. <laughs> <laughs> Are you guys part of the Eat It Booty Club? No. Neither, but you'll get peed on your penis. I would totally, you know, eat ass, but she wants not. Uh, she's not it. about it. No. no. Now, have you ever stuck a finger up his ass? No. no. There's no ass play at all. No. Not about that. Uh, you feel like you're? Are you against? Like, do you wish there was more ass play? No, nah, I'm not gay. No, that's nobody said gay. Doesn't matter. So, there's a perfectly good <laughs> vagina right there. <laughs> Why? 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 Unless, unless, the a, a is finger? unless it's completely beaten, worn out, there's no other reason. To but you never gave a courtesy. <laughs> like you never finger to give a courtesy finger. No. Would you? Would you be into a courtesy finger? No. Mm. She's well, like my ass before. Though. All right, so I'm the weirdo f- for not getting pissed on, but sticking a courtesy <laughs> finger's not like, that's weird now. I mean, it is what it I is. I eat ass. You feel me? I, <laughs> I, 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 do, I do that. You feel me? I know what I do. You feel Everyone me? knows Tremaine eats ass. Man, stop stop saying I don't just eat everybody's Everybody ass. Stop making it seem like I just go out there and just eat ass. I don't do that. If somebody's watching the show, they know you eat ass. I, they know I eat ass, yes, but that don't mean I just go up and say, yo, come here over here. Let me, let me eat your ass real quick. Nah, I don't do all that. It, does that shower I got, have to I got to do? talk to you for a while before I start eating that like, ass. Do they have to like, take a shower before? Or you just hey, go yeah, I, I, yeah, we're taking a shower. Yeah. We. We. Yeah, you gotta make sure it's done right. I'm washing it. You wanna wash? You gotta I'm wash, wanna my wash ass? her ass. Now your name is. I just. <laughs> <laughs> so you said we're taking a shower. I'm fucking ready, bro. Let's go. I've had a lot of alcohol. <laughs> I've had some ice cream. <laughs> Jeez, he's so racist, man. Oh my lord! It's because I'm white. But he doesn't want to eat my ass. I don't understand it. I eat females' ass, nigga. What if I had long hair? I don't, know. <laughs> I don't know what that means. He does have long hair. <laughs> I had flowing locks. <laughs> on his ass. Well, I, I have flowing locks on my ass, that's a guarantee. Uh, well, they're, they're kind of like, like curly hair, like I'm Ted so Bundy hungry. kind of. Eating Bro, you have eaten so per- much candy. Privilege. I'll finish that bowl off while I'm trying to take myself. <laughs> my plan was just to bring alcohol. She's the one that was like, I'm going to bring some candy because we had a bunch of candy in our house. So, thank you, go. Ashley. I'm thinking I gotta go to Wendy's after. Dude, this thing. dude eats nothing but fast food. The skinniest person with fast food in the body. I'm skinny. I'm built. No, you're skinny. <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm built. What size? All right. What size pants do you wear? Mm. 34. What size pants do you wear? Where's this one? Where's <laughs> <laughs> a 36? You wear a 36? I guess. He's, I wear a 38. I don't fuck around. I don't he buy my fucking clothes. I don't know what I wear. I think you want to check them? I go 38s, but I I wear them really, I like really, really baggy clothes. What is the fucking point? Sometimes. The point of pants? No, what are you trying to say? You said you were skinny. I wanted to see how skinny you were. I'm not skinny. You said I was skinny. I'm uh, telling you I wasn't. She makes me feel good saying I wear a 36. 34s are skinny. But she buys No, me it's not. <laughs> yes, it is. No, it's You're not. You're saying 34 is not skinny. <laughs> no, it's not skinny. You think 34 is skinny? 34 is skinny. 34 is skinny. Oh, shit. That's really skinny. That's like really skinny. Not with my weight and everything. I've like been that. a size I'm 34 a like beast right now. 10 years. What? My weight and my height consider is like the whole. No, you're thing. overweight. You're not obese, motherfucker. No, they they say like you're you're obese if you're not like right. Yes, that's no, what I'm you, saying. No, they say overweight. 
No, obese, they say obese. Thank you. All right, well, you're an obese. It's fucking disgusting. We're all talking about it, and you need to change yourself. I don't think I'm obese, though, so I don't agree with the whole... St- all right, Tremaine's... O- We're all going to agree that Tremaine's obese. Let's. <laughs> hey, well, I, think we, I think we have two more bottles left. Tremaine, let's, let's, let's divvy them out. Let's do one more trick-or-treat for no. the Halloween special. No. Trick-or-treat, smell my feet. Don't give me nothing clear. I don't know if this is clear. It's a green bottle. Do you want the green bottle or the white? There's a, I think the clear bottle will be more beneficial to you, but I'm not. All right. If you think that, but don't be fucking lying to yourself. No, no, no. It's Tito's. It's fancy. Fuck you. I don't know. What the fuck? I hate vodka. Do you like Tangeray? I don't know what that is. Gin. It's gin. I tried that before I fucking do tequila. I, I mean, fucking, fucking hate, vodka. I hate vodka, bro. I fucking hate it. I fight and I'm doing vodka. it because I fucking love you, you motherfucker. Appreciate it. She's yeah. got to deal with it when we get home. London Dry Gin. Dry Gin? I've never had Tangra. That, that's like a Snoop Dogg thing, though. Yes, it, it's a, That's in rap songs. I know that. <laughs> gin and juice. Yeah, yeah. yeah I'm, not fucking, I'm not stupid. I mean, I might be a little dumb, but I'm not stupid. <laughs> For you to say Snoop Dogg, you can definitely know you're white. <laughs> wait, Snoop Dogg. Wait, is that he's not black? No, it's how you said it. Like you, you never mind. Wait, how should <laughs> I say it? Like how you pick Snoop Dogg out of all people, and because he says Tangare. I, I never heard. I'm not gonna get. So. I'm not gonna, what do I? You want me to just say every black person says Tangare? I haven't even heard one black person say that. He, he says Tangare in a rap song. I I'm fucking, not saying he didn't. I'm just saying I never heard him say it. Fucking making the white guy drink vodka. You cocksucker! I hate vodka. Shit, unless you want me to fight. I fucking hate it. This What's wrong with you guys? Why did you do this to us? At least you got a chaser. Right. <coughs> Fucking shit is gross. I hate it. <laughs> now he's sucking on the head. <laughs> hey, man, I told you $20 to get me gay. <laughs> <laughs> that is gross. So you're already snipped. There's no future with kids. You are you guys are good with no fucking way. You guys have a boy between you or a girl? I can't remember. One boy, two girls. Well, well, but I'm saying between the... like uh, A girl. A girl. So, oh, so you had... Wait, he two, had a boy and a girl. And then a girl. Yes. Uh, and I lost a daughter before all of them. Oh, uh, I'm sorry. Yeah. How, was That was during, like, the... It was still in the belly. It was like... Yeah. My mom... So me and my sister are, like, 11 months apart, right? Which is crazy. Yeah. But I, according to my sister, there was multiple um, embryos. I don't know what you call it, but between me and her. So I'm... I was born 11 months before her. And there were still multiple babies that, you know, just did not make it in the womb. Mm. I think that's crazy that there was other babies between 11 months. Well, they were, uh, what, she was, was nine months pregnant. Yeah. So it was like right before oh, her Oh, nine date. months is a lot. Yeah. Right before her due date. <clears throat> now, um, how long did you wait to tell somebody that you were, like, you had a baby coming? Because some people will wait, like, After six the months. After trimester. How long was the tr- first trimester? Three months. After the first three months, you say, hey, we have a baby coming. Pretty much. After six months, you can find out the sex. Okay. I, I, I've never months, had a kid, so. Nine I'm, months is the baby. Three, six, nine. Huh? You can find out the sex. Three, six, now. nine. Damn, thing's fine. All right. I, I never. Check it to me one more time. Go, go, get, low. Get, low. get low. Get low. I feel like it, it got weird that we were talking about babies and then you decided to go now get you, low. <laughs> <laughs> no, don't, I, don't play me, Ricky Bobby. I played fucking. Um, Need for Speed and Blacklist. So long. Yeah, that song's forever that's embedded my in my brain. Yeah. Because of Cars that. Will Big. <laughs> the same thing with fucking Big Timers, yo. That yeah. joint got me. Oh, I love Big Timers. <laughs> yo. That's real yeah. big. Yeah, yeah that yo, big. Every time I was playing on that joint, man, I needed that song going every time. Uh, oh, man. Brought back memories when you said that. Oh, my Lord. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. I'm, pr- I'm kind of drunk. Uh, yeah. Uh, Did you expect that? Did you expect me to get drunk? Yeah. What do you expect out of me every like? Do you expect me to be drunk every episode? <sighs> Don't ask that. <laughs> <laughs> Don't ask me that question. It'd be cool if you did get drunk and shit every episode. I get drunk. I would say I. Tr- but I that's drink- only if she's here because I'm yeah, not driving get, you drunk. I only so. get drunk when she, I only get really drunk. When she, I mean, I drink when she's not here. <laughs> she gets to she gets to deal with me all the time. But I'll let you know when I'm not here and we're drinking. She's the drunk one. I'm the one taking care of her. So. She may act like she's real hoity-toity, but she's the fucking drunk one. <laughs> Babe, do you disagree? No. Come, come over here. Please, talk, plead your case. Plead your 
Who's your case? I'm not uh, the drunk one. Yeah, I get, we can't hear you. Go I'm ahead. not the drunk one, but you do help take care of me when I am drinking because you're very nice. We can't hear you. Talk to the microphone. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I, I just want to say that you guys are adorable and you guys should come back and we we'll have more time and I'll be on the podcast because I'm, I'm a better host. Like, I'm just kidding. Oh, <laughs> and she's going gonna, she's gonna to pee on you. She'll yes. lick my butthole. Woo! Tremaine will be over there. So, spanking his monkey. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> That's where you're going with that. <laughs> you are so <laughs> All the time. It doesn't matter. Uh, we could be in a, a room full of family. This guy, uh, this guy with these, these, these fucking monkey, monkey that, jokes, bro. man. <laughs> bro, we, I didn't want this again. And when you were just in, I was like, oh no. I was like, I was like, I was like, I was like if I'm drinking, I'm definitely gonna bring it up. <laughs> Did you know when you were gonna dress in this that I was gonna bring it up? Uh, I know I, I know. I know it's going to come up with everybody. You feel me? Like it came up with the wedding and everything like that. It's just <laughs> an easy, it's an easy thing to go after. You feel it's not me? even to go after. It's just come on. No, me. It's and like my, me dressed up as mayonnaise, bro. It's a, like a lot. Of, me, and my, me, and my people. <laughs> we like to burn a lot. You feel it's me? hilarious. So I know when I walk it into, I'm, I know they're going to like me the hell up because. Yeah, but I'm setting it, myself hilarious. up. Yes, it, exactly. Hilarious, exactly. I know. It's a, it's a good icebreaker. Yes, yeah. exactly. You feel me? Everybody's laughing. Common, you feel me? So. I was a fucking cow. You were a cow this year? I, no. A couple years. Oh, shit. A while ago. That was and before I, me. Yeah. I a cow with me. <laughs> I dressed, I I dressed up as a cow. <laughs> now, if he tells a story. I have a question real quick. I think I know about the action. I know now, if he tells a story and it wasn't with you, do you go, that was with your ex? No. <laughs> <laughs> I might say it's before me, but Never. because because he usually no no you were there no no I really wasn't. Oh yeah, that's that's when it's bad. Yeah. That's when it's bad. You guys you... have been together for a long time. We've been together seven and a half months. Before, we've probably been like messing around for like eight months, and there's like some stories. I'm like I I'm pretty sure it was her, <laughs> and she I don't think I've ever said that to her, but I love her unconditionally, and she's. Amazing, and I love her. I just want to go with that. Uh, I've been drinking a lot, so I'm just gonna <laughs> go with yes. So I pierced all the others on the cow. You've pierced all the pierced things? all the other others. Others on a cow the on the others <laughs> on the cow. What does that mean? The nipples. The nipples stuff. on the cow. The things you pulled to, I to took get the milk out. and I pierced them. He all. pierced them. Oh, all. A fake like your fake udders. Yes. Oh, I thought you were just coming with like a, like you were like, <laughs> no, 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 like, <laughs> like <laughs> forgive me, Father, for I've sinned. I pierced a bunch of titties on cows. <laughs> no, no, no. It was hilarious though because uh, every, everywhere I went, everybody wanted to play with the udders. Like everywhere. Is udders no color for your dick? No matter what. No, udders are on a fucking get they're cow tits. But I feel like they're this is code That's for what you your get penis. The milk out of. How do you how do you do milk again? Let's all do milk. Uh, uh, squeeze. She doesn't <laughs> squeeze and pull. Squeeze and pull. Swear, spits. Weird. And uh oh well, I don't know, it was fucking funny. Cow and chicken. Oh my God. All right, do you guys have anything that you would like to promote of your life? Your Instagrams, your Bands, okay. your sh- upcoming shows, your. My band. Well, tell them. First of all, we can't hear you. Before I put this in my vest. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> uh, promote your band, songs, um, or shows you have coming up. Well, we just did a show, but we have. Uh, we're about to go in a recording studio. It's Through Extinction. Is on uh, Facebook. Is that your band name? Yeah, Through Extinction. Mm-hmm. Um, Facebook, uh, Instagram. Um, we're on YouTube, Spotify. Uh, iTunes. Um, I can't wait to get in a recording studio soon so we can make this second CD. Uh, it's going to be great, man. Any upcoming shows will be on the Facebook page. And um, do it to it, baby. Metal for life. Chris, I, I was going to say, Chris, uh, Wednesday, I'm sorry. I was trying to stick with the whole <laughs> the thing I've been calling you the whole time. You have anything you want to promote, like your Instagram? or? No, I keep pretty private. It's, it's mainly uh. my kids. My kids until so everybody can see the kids growing up. And I can't. I th- we have so much family all over the place. So, Tremaine, you got anything? Um, get that ASMR mm. penis videos or anything? Mm. No, <laughs> no, no penis videos. Penis. No. Penis. 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 Yeah, I'm good. Yeah, I'm good. <laughs> I gotta promote. Uh, I gotta promote. Hit that outro. Wait, hold on, hold on. Not yet. Not yet. We gotta do one more thing. We gotta do. Um. You gotta do the, you gotta do it separately though. But he gotta, he has to play. Okay, we'll hit the outro.
guys know each other? How do you guys know each other? Thank you again for watching that YouTube clip. If you yeah, yeah. others like it, remember that like and subscribe button. If you have questions Press for it. us, go to our website and you can find our email, lovingthemode at gmail.com. You can also see other YouTube clips, highlights, previews to other clips, and behind the scenes features. If you want to listen to our podcast, go to anywhere where you listen to your podcast. And you can find Love and Then What There.